have so much venom in their venom glands that when something gets bit by them, it's toxicity overload. We're gonna milk Justina the King Cobra and I'm gonna take down that venom and we're gonna see how it affects me. This is Justina, the Indonesian King Cobra. Sir, she's focused right on me. You hear her growling? King Cobras, woo! King Cobras are the only snake on the planet that had a modified trachea allowing them to growl. Woo, woo, woo. Dumping venom, woo, look at all that venom. Woo. What is going on, my beautiful people? I'm currently hanging out with Kevin the King Cobra. This is the longest venomous snake on the planet. Kevin is a King Cobra, which makes it the longest venomous reptile that you can find out on our planet. They can literally get close to 18 feet long. And right now he's about 15 feet long. Now him being the biggest venomous snake on the planet, you'd think he probably has a lot of venom too. Well, he does. He actually has the second largest venom yield of any venomous reptile on the planet. First would be the Kabuto Viper because they have such a thick, solid head, huge venom glands, then the King Cobras right after that. They have so much venom in their venom glands that when something gets bit by them, it's toxicity overload. So they're not the most potent venomous snake on the planet like a mamba or a taipan, but because they have so much venom, when they bite down into something, it goes into venom overload, toxicity overload. Ooh, he's just a little upset today. He's a beautiful beast. I love him to death. And he's gonna keep growing bigger and bigger as the years go on. He could potentially get 18 feet long. I love him to death. But notice how close I'm able to get to him. Notice how when I'm working with him, I handle him a little more closely than I would handle Justina, my female King Cobra, because his personality is more laid back than Justina. The thing about these snakes is that they're not all evil, ugly monsters that just want to attack everything that gets close to them. Kevin, he's got a laid back personality. He's worked with me for years, so he understands I'm not trying to hurt him. Whereas Justina, I worked with her since I was 18 years old and she's still cranky as the first day I ever met her. So they have two completely different personalities. For today's video, we're gonna be testing out whether or not it's, you're able to drink King Cobra venom, snake venom and survive. The idea is that poison is to be ingested for it to affect you, while venom must be injected into your bloodstream to affect you. So theoretically, if I don't have any canker sores or cuts in my mouth, anything like that, that I should survive swallowing a whole shot full of King Cobra venom. But since Kevin's so laid back, we're gonna put him in the back inside his enclosure, let him rest, and we're gonna pull out Justina, because Justina will willingly bite down on that cup, no problem, whereas Kevin usually tends to avoid biting anything. All right, Justina. Justina, the female King Cobra, she's right here. She's a beast of a snake, and she's always on guard. See how defensive she is right now? She's already hooding up. I haven't even done anything to her. But before we take her out, let's go over poison and venom one more time. Right in this little toad, I have one of the most notorious toads on the planet. This is Bufo Marinus. This is a cane toad. Oh, oh what's that? Hello, beautiful people. Oh, so this is a cane toad. It's an invasive species here in South Florida and also Australia, and they devastate local wildlife that's not used to eating these poisonous animals. So the way their poison works is they have glands right here on the back of their head and on their backside right here. So these big fat glands, if there's pressure applied by a predator trying to eat the toad, then if you look right here, you'll see a little milky secretion coming out. That is the poison. I gotta be real careful on getting any of that on my fingers and then I'm drinking that later. So if I were to take that poison and go just like that, it would make me hallucinate. It's not a fun time. You take too much of that stuff, you're gonna end up getting really sick, the worst food poisoning ever, and then eventually you could possibly die depending on how big of a dose you take from Bufo Marinus. This is an extremely toxic toad. So poison, you gotta ingest for you to die. Venom has to be injected into your bloodstream, into the lymphatic system, and gets into your bloodstream traveling, traveling faster and taking down your body. With this type of venom, the King Cobras, it's neurotoxic venom, so it shuts down your nervous system, blocking neuroreceptor signals going throughout your body, telling your body how to function, including how your diaphragm works. So it'll shut down your diaphragm, leading to you not being able to breathe at all. So you have to get intubated at the hospital if you were to get bit by something like a mamba or a crate or a King Cobra. So we're gonna put this cane toad back and we'll let him oh we'll let him settle down in this little tote i'm going to put this aside we'll put it right over here for now 
and we got our glass ready to go. This is what we're gonna use for Justina. We've got latex right here on the top, so something nice and easy to bite into. Hopefully with that big monstrous bite that the King Cobra has, it doesn't completely break through this, so we can keep her fangs off that glass. And then we'll be able to see all that venom collect at the bottom. King Cobras, like I said, have the second largest venom yield on the planet. So that's going to be a whole bunch of gold resting at the bottom of that. that. That's no joke. Now, I recently saw a video of Dingle Dinkleman's channel where they're testing out black mamba venom, taking a little drop of it and taking it and ingesting it. And his assistant seemed perfectly fine. And that's the idea. The only issue is with a King Cobra having the second largest venom yield on the planet, this is going to be a large amount of venom to be ingesting. So we'll see how this goes. Okay, okay. Nothing but the good time. Okay, let's go see how Justine is. We're just gonna pull her out, suss out her situation, and try to gently secure her on the back of the neck. This King Cobra is probably one of the most defensive snakes I've ever had to handle in my life. I've known her since I was probably about 17, 18 years old. So we have a big history with each other. And she loves to hood up, growl, and show everyone that she means business. Look at this is Justina, the Indonesian King Cobra. Look at her, she's focused right on me. She means business. So what we're gonna try to do is gently secure her on the back of the neck. She's got huge venom glands, so she knows how to use them. And when she feeds, I've seen her venom pour all over her food like it's nothing. When she eats a Burmese python and she's using her fangs to poke up, use to hike up that python as a meal, She's dumping venom all over the python as she goes towards the head to swallow it up. She's gaping her mouth at me. She's cracking her mouth. She's not messing around. This king cobra is fully loaded. And because of this defensiveness, this is exactly why we're using Justina for this test. Because we know she's gonna dump a lot of venom. Nice and easy, nice and easy, relax. They focus on movement. So what we're trying to do is here to focus in one direction and then safely grab her behind the head. Oh, it's nice and easy. What I want to do is get her by the tail. Ooh. Or get her by the midsection. There we go. There we go. Nice and easy, Justina. You hear her growling? King Cobras, Woo! King Cobras are the only snake on the planet that had a modified trachea allowing them to growl. Woo -hoo -hoo! Allowing them to growl like a dog. Come on in and check this out. Look at this beautiful King Cobra. And even though she's a female and she's not nearly as big as Kevin, look how big those bulbous venom glands are. Look at that, that is insane. She's a beast. She's like 12, 13 feet long, a beast of a King Cobra. Let's bring our little lab set. <laughs> bring her over to the little lab set right over here. Let me get this glass. And let's see how this milking goes. All right. Nice and easy, Justina. Nice and easy. Ooh. Oh, 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 oh. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, she's, oh, she's dropping venom. Look at that. Let's try and get her to bite the other side. We don't want her biting the glass directly, but she's dumping. Look at that. She's dumping that venom. Come on, let go, let go, let go. Dumping venom. Oh, look at all that venom. Whoo. I don't milk snakes often. It's not my profession to make anti-venom but I have grabbed King Cobras behind the head tons of times. If I'm gonna grab any venomous reptile behind the head, I'd rather be a King Cobra than a big viper or a squiggly little mamba. Woo! Let's get that venom going. Come on. Let's try and keep her from biting that glass too much. Woo! All right, so she's dumping. It's all, oh my goodness, it's all over the place. Let's get a better grip on her. Look at that, holy smokes. Not as much as I was anticipating, but still heaps of venom. Look at that. Look, look at all that venom. Holy smokes. That is insane. I'm just massaging the back of the head just a little bit to help the venom travel through those ducts. Holy smokes, look at that venom. Holy smokes, look at this. I'm gonna get that off right there. That is enough venom to kill dozens of men and to kill even a bull elephant a massive oh we got we got this rubber band on her right here let's get these rubber bands out of her mouth that's from 
Holy smokes, look, it's covered in venom. Ooh, get that out of her mouth. I got venom all over my hands. Look, I'm, I'm shaking a little bit. This is gnarly stuff, look at this. Holy smokes. That's a lot of venom. I've seen milkings where they fill up like half of a shot glass and it's crazy, but that's still a deadly dose of venom. <sighs> Bottoms up. Uh. Still a little bit more. Let's safely get her loose so I can put her back in the enclosure. There we go. She's out. Let's safely get her woo, get her back to where she needs to go. Nice and easy, baby. Nice and easy. No hurt feelings. We'll never milk you again unless somebody needs anti-venom. Come on. Woo. Oh, Kevin, relax. Woo. You gotta make sure that lock gets on there nice and secure. Locked and secure. Just took down a dose of King Cobra Venom. <sighs> We're good to go, look at this. We still got a lot of venom in there, look at that. There's, look at that, that big drop right there. Holy smokes, look at that. That right there is gnarly. Look at this, we're gonna drop it right onto my finger. I got no cuts, so I should be fine. Look at this, look at this big, gooey venom. Holy smokes. So the idea is that venom is a protein, so when it goes down to my stomach, it should be digested just like any other protein. So hopefully we'll be good to go. Now, uh, in the meantime, I'm just gonna sit down and relax and see what happens. No, I'm just kidding, we're fine. But anyways, beautiful people, we're gonna get back to you in a couple minutes and we're gonna see how it goes. Ooh, King Cobra Venom down the hatch, and I feel stronger. Nah, just kidding. It's just to prove to you guys the big difference between poison and venom. Remember, never replicate anything you see me do. I'm a trained professional. I've been working with venomous reptiles my whole life. So I understand how these animals work and how their venoms affect the body. So I will see you guys in about 10, 15 minutes to see if I'm still alive. 15 minutes later. Uh, I feel fine. I, I feel, I was just resting. My eyesight is like, I, I just see like so many more things than there are usually. No, I'm just kidding guys. What's going on beautiful people? The venom didn't do anything. Of course, venom must be injected into your bloodstream to make effect on you. Poison must be ingested into you. That's the whole thing. We're trying to educate you guys on what the big difference is. A common thing that people do is even call snakes poisonous when in reality, they don't have poison, they're venomous. They have fangs with inject venom and that makes them venomous. But there is one type of snake on the planet that does take the cake for being venomous and poisonous and that's the keelback from Thailand. Check this beautiful snake out. I found in Thailand two years ago. Oh, well, I should probably explain that photo. So the poison is actually in the back of the neck and glands similar to the toad. So technically the tail area is it's pretty safe. So no worries, let's, let's get that out of here. Anyways, beautiful people, this is the whole point. We're trying to educate you guys on the big difference between poison and venom. And this is what it's all about, educating you guys on our beautiful animals around our gorgeous planet. The venomous reptiles, the spiders, all the beautiful things that we have to share the planet with. Thank you guys so much for joining me on my wildlife. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Share it with your friends. Put on that bell notification. Subscribe. Do what you got to do to keep seeing updates on this wildlife that I live. I love you guys. I'll see you on the next one. Stay beautiful. Stay safe. And most of all, don't forget to check us out on Chandler'sWildlife.com where you can get your own merch. And also check us out on Patreon for exclusive content. I'll see you guys on the next one. Stay beautiful. Stay safe. And most of all... Follow your dreams, stay passionate about what you love, and stick to it. I love you guys. I'll see you on the next one. That's still a deadly dose of venom. Bottoms up.